All right, welcome to Walker Valley High School here in Hardison, New Jersey, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. I'm Dan Cleary. We have a game later on tonight between Walker Valley and Veritas Christian, but it's a special night here at Walker. It's alumni night, and there's no bigger person that has played a larger role in Walker Valley basketball and Franklin basketball than my special pregame guest tonight, Sussex County Hall of Famer, Walker Valley Hall of Famer, all around Hall of Famer, Retta Senzovic. Retta, special night tonight. You made a trip up. Just talk about coming back here to Walk Hill for this evening. This has been a very special time because I, I so enjoyed building this book that I put together because the girls at Franklin and at Walk Hill Valley were so important in my life. And they have had one of the most, they've all had, for the most part, very successful careers and lifespans. And I'm so proud of them. Just talk about how much the game has grown since when you became a coach in Franklin to seeing what these kids are doing now. And you had some special players over the years, especially those teams in the early 80s here at Walker. Well, even I just met a girl that came down from Buffalo today. She was the captain of the 1975 team. In 1972, we wanted the Title IX had already had passed in the summer. She came in in September, and we were... We were at split sessions in Franklin. The boys, the freshman boys that were involved in basketball, wrestling, and football, were, they had one class for them in the morning because it's, the freshmen came in the afternoon. That girl was not permitted to go into that class because she was the only girl with all those boys. Right. Now, that girl was a very spe had a very special talent. So she only had three years of basketball. Now that that was not good. Right. In years, the next year, Donna Leitner was able to go into that class. She had very special talents also. But I'm just saying that's the way it was then. She was not she was not considered personnel. Isn't that amazing? Oh. And what it has taken over the time period. Now that was 1972. Here we are, 50 years since then. And I'm standing here being a guest in this wonderful high school. Sabrina Lucas Bichesny, was Sabrina Bichesny Lucas was just here, and she said something that caught my ear. Look around. This is the house that Greta built. Talk about that's a special meeting. No, no. This is the house that Rich Mayorshek built. <laughs> when, we, when we opened the building, that's what we thought about. But when the kids from Franklin came here, and the two girls came up from down in Ogdensburg, Betty and Donna. They're both here tonight. Right, I saw that. I mean, it, it's phenomenal. It's just absolutely, this is tear jerk time for me. And what's the special thing is, sure, you taught them basketball, but you taught them life lessons that 50, 40 years later, they've all turned into wonderful people, wives and, and moms and great yeah. careers. That's more important than putting the ball in the basket. Oh, it is. But, you know, there was a togetherness that we had at Franklin that came here and the girls from Ogdensburg were accepted and loved. And we put it together. And it was just a very special time. Just talk about back then, you guys put basketball on the map, girls basketball in Sussex County. And then your old buddy Freddie Gefkin came along and got Sparta going. And you guys had some great battles. We've had a few, yes. <laughs> to say a few, right? Yes, we did. We had many that were, uh, that, was the, that was the time. And it, we had good battles with, when we were at Franklin with uh, John, name, uh, J John over in. Uh, Newton, John Zamos. He had the great Linda Cordes. Oh, yes. I mean, on many nights, John would say to me before the game, now, Greta, you don't mind if we play our game throughout the whole game. And what that meant was it was full court press. Right. So it was, they would put the pressure on and get the ball to Linda and Linda would score. Get the right. ball to Linda and Linda would score. And uh, it got quite old for all of us in the SCIL. So Linda went on. I'm sure Linda had a good career. Yeah, I she believe. went to Delaware. She did, and then she came home, and she was had a give-back career, didn't she? Yeah, she went into education, I believe. Uh, so there we are. And so you're going to be dedicating the book tonight. You're going to give it to Superintendent Dave Carr. Just a special night. But Greta, I'll let you go enjoy. There's a lot of people who want to get your time, so I don't want to hog the time. Always a pleasure seeing you. 
Thank you again for everything you've done, not just for Walker Valley and Franklin, but for girls' athletics overall. You are a true uh, pioneer and a trailblazer, and every female that's playing tonight has a debt of gratitude to you. So, Greta Sense, Vicky, thank you so much. Thank you so Enjoy much. Enjoy your evening. I shall. All righty. Well, that's going to wrap our interview with Coach Sense, Vicky. I'm Dave Cleary.